one that will absolutely be in the beta. We'll talk a little bit about the mass selection in a second. It's, a, it's in an old supermarket, as you can imply from the name, as well as death and checking out. But it's uh, a ton of fun because it's super close quarters. This is a map that you're going to want to have the retro lancer. You're going to want to have the sawed off. I mean, if you get all the way across the map, you can use the hammer burst, but technically I prefer the uh, uh, in close weapons. You'll also notice as the matches start up, you get an overhead map now. You can actually uh, hit the scoreboard and then press the button to bring this up in gameplay and see the little icons of people moving around the map, which is you can, can't quite land that way, but you can imagine it's almost like a top-down view of the battlefield, which is kind of cool to see. Oh, and there's a secret in there. Look for a fire alarm. <laughs> uh, so Mercy, Mercy is sort of our, uh, it's kind of a, an a Spanish-inspired gridlock in a way. I mean, it's not that it's not based on that map layout at all, but it has the same kind of feel where it's a wide open space with sort of low cover. So it's a really fun map. We've, we've used it when we were showing off uh, Beast earlier in the year, one of the maps that people are familiar with, but it's one of the ones we're looking at having in beta. Yeah, the good weapons, if you go to the map here, are at the top and the bottom. Go inside the uh, place of worship, you'll find a heavy. Go on the little platform on the other side, you'll find some good stuff. Yeah, it's one of the maps where you will find the one shot and the digger. Uh, Old Town, why don't you do Old Town? It's got pumpkins, which explode and makes headshot sounds. It also has chickens. Yes, and you can. <laughs> it's a first in the series. This is big. If you take one takeaway from tonight, take chickens away. Uh, it's just a, another close quarters map, feels uh, slightly skewed and chaotic. It's a great one for the uh, uh, capture the meter uh, type game types for territory type modes. And it's one of those ones where you get in the side corners and you get these great kind of gunfights while people are going back and forth and other players flying around the sides. So, and if you're going to be coming to all these maps new and you're going to be like, I, you know, it's hard to play, I don't know where things are, I don't know where to go, I don't know what to do, the maps are helping, but it's not all the... So one of the new things we have in the game is, you know, those of you probably don't know what it's called, but the left bumper in here is what we call TACCOM for tactical communications. But if you hold the left bumper now, it'll actually show you in the map, in the world, where the weapons spawn. It won't show you whether the weapons have been taken or not, but it will show you where that spawn location is. So as soon as you spawn into a map, hold down your left bumper and it'll say, boom shot's over here, one shot's over there, that kind of thing, so you know where to run. Overpass. This is a this is a fun map, not only because it's an interesting layout. It's kind of a freeway overpass. It's got a uh, turret. You can see kind of the top right below that flag. Which, if you get on that, that's four retro lancers that you can just use to control the area. If somebody throws a smoke grenade at the right time, it can knock you off the turret as well. But the cooler thing about this is actually visual because what happens over time is the map starts sinking into the underground, water starts pouring down the street, everything starts kind of falling apart on you, which the map gets slightly askew. It doesn't really change the gameplay, it's more of a visual thing, but it kind of shows off some of the more dynamic elements that we have in the maps in Gears 3. Thrash Ball. Um, this is tying in a little bit of a theme about the beta that we'll talk about in a second here, but this is a Thrash Ball, of course, is a fictional sport that Cole played in that we, a lot of you may know about. And this is essentially an abandoned arena with the sun's kind of pouring through. Uh, be careful in the middle because that's kind of a grinder right there. If you're going to run through that, then you better be careful be quick. Usually a lot of the combat kind of goes from the top to the bottom. But more importantly, you see that giant jumbotron right there? In Team Deathmatch, when somebody gets killed, it first off scores. It actually renders it on the texture. It goes, Egh! But you can also shoot the cables above it, and there's a power weapon beneath that. You can actually squish people, which is hands down one of the most fun things I've done in a while. Which you can actually see in the B-roll. Yeah. And you think he's on fire at the same time, too. Yeah. Right, take trenches. Uh, so trenches is sort of our locust-inspired multiplayer map with basically what we call the deadline. Uh, it's got a sandstorm that blows in, so you can lose visibility, which is one of the great things about the digger is that you don't really have to see your enemy to kill them. Listen for the horn for that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And so, but there's a cool spot at the very top left. That's where the you'll find the one shot, and at the very bottom of the crane at the base there, you'll find a mortar or a mulcher. So there's a, kind of the central area of fighting over the, the bigger weapons and. The teams will spawn in from each side, and it's, it's a really fun ride map. For those of you who remember how to use the mortar, remember you, you gotta actually hold left trigger to kind of drop it, and then hold right trigger to kind of range find. This works amazingly with spotting weapons. Same thing with the one shot. If Rod doesn't have a heavy weapon, and I have that, I'm like, I will be playing, like, give me a spot, give me a spot, and you know, put the little icon and be like, ooh, mortar over there, and suddenly I get like all these points popping up. It's a great co op gameplay. 